Do you get wrestled? Oh, oh, I want to play. I think it's going from house to house at Christmas and Carol's while drinking. No, uh, that's silly. But that's what it actually is. I don't think so. Listen, I'm telling you that's what it is. <sighs> You're really tempting me to eat you. <laughs> See? <laughs> that's funny. Because you are really the temptations in raisin form. Hey, Sabrina. Kill. See what I did there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, by the way, Buble, you didn't have to leave me here. You could have just changed the subject. I have vast knowledge in all things. Can you name any 1920s crooners? Sure. What do you want to talk about? Jack Smith, Sid Gary, or Russ Columbo? <gasps> gasp! Did you just say gasp instead of actually gasping? I did. Gasping hurts the vocal pipes. I've got to keep those babies pristine. We need to get out of here, turn Sabrina back into a person, and get home in time to record this Christmas episode before midnight. If we do that, I'll be off the naughty list. We could Uber. I'm not paying for another Uber. We could kick the cowboy off his ostrich and ride that home. Um, Chris, one, that is mean. And two, we are not going to all fit. And three, that would hurt my butt to ride an ostrich for 3,000 miles back to Florida. Even though earlier in the script it was only 300. That's because we were in a muck. No. I yes. thought you just run amok. Amok, 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 amok. Amok. <laughs> amok is closer to the North Pole than Florida is. Because it uh, snows in our muck. Yeah, but where's the island of misfit toys? Because that's where we were going. Right, that's somewhere near the North Pole. Okay, fine. We wander while we I talk. Am, I'm <laughs> so glad he paid attention on how to save me because you could have been here hours ago. <laughs> I just know 3,000 is a lot more than 300, but it has the same numbers in it. Wait a minute. Did you just say <laughs> 300 has the same amount of numbers as no, it has 3,000? No, I said it has the same numbers. Threes and zeros. zeros. Okay. She's not wrong. I'm not. We don't know where our muck is, but it's definitely somewhere up north, which is closer to the North Pole than Florida. I just know riding an ostrich back from anywhere, any amount of time would probably hurt my butt. Yes. No Nobody's way. riding an ostrich around here except me. <laughs> I'm a misfit. <laughs> nope, we're kicking you off, buddy. <laughs> or we could just wait it out here. Maybe have to eat her dead friend's butts and camp out in the broken airplane's fuselage. Sabrina, no. Um, we are no. not reenacting alive. No. <laughs> I, have a, I have rights as a snow person, you know. No one is impeding on your rights, Sabrina. And snow people don't eat humans. That's true. We live on a healthy diet of sticks, carrots, and slush made from cars. We could just ask the Winter Warlock for some magic corn that will enable us to fly home. Yes, that's it. I was talking to him the other day. He's a big DC Comics fan. His favorite Sergeant Rock. Jill, my friend. Did I hear you talking about Sergeant Rock? Hey, everyone, it's the Winter Wizard. You're not as mean as you were in the TV specials. Well... Wait, is it the winter wizard or the winter wizard? I said winter! <laughs> I heard winter. <laughs> All right. Hey, everyone, it's the I'm winter also wizard! I had a bourbon today, so <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh. Hey, everyone, it's the winter wizard! You're not as mean as you were on the TV specials. Well, you mellow with old age, and jail is my bud. Any buds of jails are buds of mine. I like your hat. Can I lick it? But thank you. I took it from the Burger Meister Meister Burger. Um, we need to get home to Florida to record our Christmas episode. I was thinking we could eat some of that magic corn you have that make reindeer fly. Well, they make reindeer fly. I don't know about humans and snow persons. Uh, speaking of that, do you have any magic that can turn Sabrina back into a uh, human? Oh, please. I don't like being a snow woman. Every outfit I wear always gets soggy. Let me see. What do I have here? Magic trumpet? No. Playbill from cats? No. I know. Here, watch this. What is it? It's a clip from Saturday Night Live when Ashley Simpson was caught lip syncing and then it did a jig off the stage. This is magic? It truly is. Especially the exit. Just watch it over and over until you feel funny. Okay. <laughs> Yeah.
Ben. Happy birthday. Why did you say that? Well, because snow people always say happy birthday when they come to life, so I thought it would be funny. Never mind. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just having a meltdown for a second. Meltdown. <laughs> it's a snow bun. You're abominable. You know, I'm kind of hungry. I could go for some burritos. Okay, enough with the snow puns. Wizard, 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 wizard. It can't hurt to try the corn. Okay, everyone take a piece of corn and pop it in your mouth like a Tic Tac. Don't bite down on it, just swish it around in your mouth. I don't think this is working. And I'm getting like a corn nut taste in my mouth. Oh, it's working. It's working. I'm flying. I'm flying too. I'm flying. You guys forgot about me, but I'm coming too. We're all flying. Michael Buble, California Brazen, and Podcast 42 flew all the way back to Orlando, Florida, and landed safely two miles away from the podcast room. Great. We landed safely two miles away from the podcast room. Now we have to walk. Oh, 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 oh. No, you don't. You can ride with me. So the five jumped in Santa's sleigh and landed a half mile away from the podcast room. Santa, what happened to the sleigh? Oh, darn. It ran out of Christmas magical juice. I'll have to call the elves for a refill. Great! Now we have to walk! So, Michael Buble, a California raisin, and Podcast 42 walked the last half mile home. All the while, Buble and the raisin sang Christmas songs. Laura complained that her feet hurt. My feet hurt. Sabrina pointed random things out. That's a tree. JL ordered comic books on his phone. Yes! Very cover for Green Lantern. And Chris, well, Chris just smiled because the best Christmas is a Christmas spent recording with his friends. The end. Not quite, Mr. Winter Wizard. Oh, why not? That seems like a perfect ending. No, we have to rate the beer. Hello, Cola. No one away. Never gonna away. Hello, Cola. Never went away. Never went away. Perfect. How would the Winter Wizard rate the beer? Uh. (laughs) What scale is it on, Winter Wizard? Uh, The scale is one through six, like a six-pack. One being the worst, six being the best. This makes sense to everybody but one lone Canadian. C.A. Any in case No, that'd be C I No S K I I am M E And you just haven't met him yet. <laughs> That's a tree. <laughs> but you know what this is? Remind it's us. Sugar Shack Maple Stout from Third Street Brew House with an A B V of six point five percent. Sabrina, why don't you start us off now that you're no longer a snow person? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! Mm. Left a puddle all the way here. I, d- I had to go to the bathroom, but nobody would stop. Yeah, that was after she was a snow person. Oh, is that why? <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat the yellow snow. <laughs> um, I I'm not a huge stout fan, which is funny because I'm the one that picked this up. <laughs> what? What? No. I know. I know. Um. I don't know. It's just they they sit heavy on me. I don't, um, That's why they're stouts. Yeah. Um, I mean, I enjoyed it for a stout. But that's not really saying much because I don't like stouts that much. I feel so, like Laura's rated an IPA, but it's Sabrina rating a stout. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to give it a two. A two, really? <laughs> because you don't like stouts? <laughs> because I think I can only drink two. <laughs> Why are you busting out laughing, Jill? <laughs> because Laura's belchy. <laughs> oh, I didn't even catch that. See? It's like we really have traded. <laughs> She's belchy, and I'm undecided. Sorry. All right. Well, I'll go next if you're, if you're done burping. I'm done. I, I, I rescued out. you first. Remember that. I know. Um, I do like stouts, um, as long as they're flavored. Like coffee, like or coffee. chocolate, oh. or oatmeal, or chocolate, yeah, I, or I, maple, maple, yeah. Um, if it's the traditional like uh, 
Guinness Stout. I'm not a big. Oh, not, I like Guinness. Not a it's a low cal beer. It's it my is. favorite diet beer. It's a terrible beer. Do you know that when he purchased or rented or leased or whatever the Guinness brewery site, he signed a 900 year lease? Yes. Yes, I remember you telling me that after you got back from Ireland. Yeah, it's crazy. He was smart. Uh huh. Because <laughs> they can't raise the price. <laughs> nope. Nine hundred well, years. This isn't Guinness. This is Sugar oh, Shack. Sorry. Off and track. I'm giving this one a six because I like maple and I like stouts and the combination is great. Stouts finish clean, not as clean as some other ones, but pretty clean, which is always important to me, as I say every time. Uh. Great beer. I could I could definitely go for six of these. 100%. Laura? It does definitely have a clean finish. Um, the smell is very maple-y, which I like. I like the smell. If I could have that smell in my house all year, it'd be great. It finishes clean, but you... They make candles like that. I know I have one. <laughs> I, I still have like a maple flavor on my tongue that lasts a little bit longer, but the beer itself finishes good. Um, much like Sabrina, I'm not a huge stout fan i don't think i've ever had really a stout where i was like oh i want another one of these um this one though i actually would drink another one of and i did enjoy it there was a little bit of that coffee kind of dark beer taste that i I don't typically like in it but the maple kind of pairs well with that i guess and i'm gonna rate it a five wow yeah which is really incredible for me considering i don't like stouts yeah, that is really high. It's a good stout. All right, beer master. I think it's really smooth. Good flavor to it. Um, I think they did a really good job on it. I would easily rate this a six. Uh, really good. Nice flavor. Very smooth. Doesn't have a bitter aftertaste. Doesn't feel as heavy as a stout should as I drink it either. Yeah. So um, I think that's a definite plus right there. So overall, six. Normally, I'm the one with the low score. What but happened? it's me! <laughs> I just don't think I could drink more than two of them. That's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. <sighs> Even though it's wrong. I mean, it's a good beer, and I agree with all your ratings. You can have my other four. <laughs> <laughs> that is fine by me. Yeah, but just for me, I think it's it's just too heavy. All right, well then, two for you. <laughs> and the other four to be dispersed I like how it says natural flavor added. So it's like, you know, it's like a natural maple that they added to it. Yeah. High fructose this, this, corn no, syrup. This isn't Aunt Jemima you're getting added to it. <laughs> no. It's made in Minnesota. Eh? Speaking of which, you really Am need. I? <laughs> <laughs> Am I? Here's my Christmas tip for you. You really need to spend the extra money on real maple syrup and not yes. that corn syrup crap. Because it's um, killing you. Hold on a second. Because I have been saying this to you for years. Right. And like years. I have been married to this guy for 75 years. And in that time, I have told him. 75 years. Get the date right. The first two don't count. (laughs) Anyways, I have told him so many times not to buy the cheap imitation syrup. Yes. And he would never listen to me. And even worse, he'd buy sugar free. Oh. And I was like, no, you want the real thing. You want real maple syrup. Well, like everything. Spend the extra money and get real maple syrup. You will thank me. Okay. Well, like everything, I've taken your advice and I'm passing it along. So 93 sh- years later. You should just be happy <laughs> that I listened at some point on a YouTube channel. <laughs> Somebody saying it. That wasn't you. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> it was while he was eating his McDonald's hotcakes, driving to work at 2.30 in the morning for his breakfast shift. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Because yeah, that's right. he did leave at 2.30 in the morning for his breakfast shift that started at 7. <laughs> We've moved the hours back, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I am the happiest out of everybody on that. He's finally leaving at 3.30 now. Yes. Well, since this is our last show of the year, I just want to wish you all Merry Christmas. Happy Festivus. And thanks for another year of wonderful shows. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. Are you talking to us or the people listening to us? I'm I talking think he's to talking you. to the listeners. Oh. Well, we are the people that listen to us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't listen. That's not true. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Laura doesn't listen. I don't listen. We have three downloads a week. <laughs> <laughs> 
We and, could have four. And I really love the Pink Floyd episode. <laughs> I would just like to point out, I am way behind on our episodes. There are a lot in my back catalog. Oh, you need to catch up. Yeah, there was one of mine that I didn't listen to in enough time, and it. 